to illustrate these points, what I've done is I have completed highlighting of the brief history of money article. And what you'll notice down here at the bottom is that there is a second import that I've done from Readwise. So anytime you bring additional highlights in from Readwise, you'll get this second entry here. And if I expand that out, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of these. So now I have to vertically scroll down the page quite a bit to see all of these highlights. And the reason that I mentioned that is because the method that I showed you before, where what we were doing was writing our big idea uh, up here and then dragging up the block reference for the highlight starts to fall apart when you have a ton of these highlights on the page. Because if I'm writing a big idea right here for a highlight that's related, uh, for a note that's related to a highlight down here, it becomes pretty tedious for me to constantly be scrolling up and down the page. So the first thing that I want, want to mention here to you uh, to help you process additional information, more highlights per uh, per source here is a trick that I like to use, which is working with the article in two different tabs here side by side. And what I mean by that is if I'm going to be processing these highlights from this block right here, what I'm going to do is simply right click on that block and open it in the sidebar. So that'll open up those highlights over here and minimize my need to uh, scroll up and down the page. And then what I can do to illustrate this is just quickly process one um, quick big idea here. So let's say that I'm working on this one here. It says some historians claim that money originated out of collectibles. Others claim that it originated from credit. So I might write that um, some historians claim that money has its original roots in credit. Um, given the close-knit uh, nature of early human tribes, this system worked well. Okay, good enough for now for an example. And then again, having these side by side now allows me to simply come over here, hold down option and drag this block over underneath my big idea. So again, to recap here, the idea is that as you start to bring in more and more highlights when you're working with longer sources, this is especially relevant when you start working with books where you're gonna have a whole bunch of highlights. Uh, the number one thing that I like to do is work on the page side by side. So I've got my highlights over here and my big ideas section here in the main window.